Hey everyone, welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into a heartfelt reaction from Fat Joe, who's standing by his beloved New York Knicks despite their tough loss to the Indiana Pacers in the NBA playoff semifinals. Let's explore what Joey Crack had to say and why Knicks fans should keep their heads held high. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content. After the Knicks' devastating 21-point loss to the Pacers in Game 7, Fat Joe took to Instagram Live to express his pride in his team. He acknowledged the heartbreak, but emphasized the importance of losing to gain experience and grow stronger. Here's what he had to say. So overachievers, overachievers, the team was hurt, four of our starters was out, so we're basically playing with one starter and the bench, I'm proud of my team, uh, so proud of them, unfortunately, you got to lose to win. Like we saw with OKC and we saw with all these other young teams. For some reason, they got to lose to get that experience, to get that final instinct so they could win. Uh, shout out the Pacers. They played good today. Um, I think we should have beat them, but we didn't. It is what it is. But let me tell y'all something, man. When you lose 29 years, 29 years in a row, and you finally, oh yeah, your flaws, you see that? <laughs> nah, I don't come to play, guys. I don't come to play. Don't do that. Huh. Don't do that. I don't come to play, guys. It's so 29 years since the last game seven. And so... Everyone wants to say the Nick fans are exaggerated. We go too crazy. We did nah. We've been loyal fans. The arena been sold out for 29 years. A lot of you so-called real fans from all these other teams, your arena be empty. Your arenas be empty. And you only come around when they win in at the end. Not Madison Square Garden guy. Not Madison Square Garden. Sold out for 29 years. Now we got hurt. Julius Randle. Mitchell Robinson. Brondvanovich. OG came in, hit two threes. Hamstring again. Hart was hurt the game before. Josh Hart is 6'4". Is the number two all-time rebounder in the playoffs. I'm talking about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Wilt Chamberlain. Shaquille O'Neal. Whoever you name, Dennis Rodman, whoever you name. And so, salute to the New York Knicks. Jalen Brunson already fractured his hand. The guy played till he got hurt. So we ain't got nothing to be sad about. We ain't got nothing to be upset about. We overachievers. New York Knicks. That green, that Celtics green, y'all better go all the way, G-Spin. The conference ain't enough. You got to be willing to beat Minnesota or Denver, G-Spin. Making it to the conference finals eight years in a row and not winning, G-Spin? Don't do that. I'm upset today. You might catch the wrong Joe Crack. Boston fans, please don't get to the finals and lose again for the eighth year. Please, you guys don't want to play with me today. Uh, don't do that. Y'all eat Philly. Anyway, I want to salute the coach. I want to salute the players. I want to salute the fans. Hell of a run this year. We'll be back next year. Yo, Pat Boost, what you say? Yeah, yeah, we're going to revisit this. Peace, y'all. God bless. Fat Joe draws parallels with other young teams like OKC, highlighting how this tough loss can fuel the Knicks' future success. 
one thing Fat Joe made clear is the unwavering loyalty of Knicks fans. Despite 29 years without a Game 7 victory, Madison Square Garden remains sold out season after season. Fat Joe passionately defended the fans. This dedication is a testament to the Knicks' vibrant fan base, proving that their passion and support are unmatched, win or lose. Another critical point Fat Joe mentioned was the series of injuries that plagued the Knicks during the playoffs. These setbacks were significant, but Joe sees the bigger picture. His message is clear. The Knicks are overachievers, and this season was a step forward, not a setback. Fat Joe's pride extended beyond the court. The Knicks season also brought him and former rival 50 Cent closer. The two were seen courtside, sharing laughs and support for their team, showing that sports can bring people together. Fat Joe's reaction to the Knicks' loss is a powerful reminder of resilience, loyalty, and the journey of growth. Knicks fans, keep your heads up. This season was just the beginning. Let's take inspiration from Fat Joe and look forward to what the next season holds. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup. See you next time.